This is the Joy Business Report with me, Mami Senior Mitchell Thompson. In the headlines, Ghana CD expected to endure some volatility against the US dollar on the retail market this week as demand from local corporates surges. Also, Ghana and other African countries set to benefit more from global agreements as World Trade Organization moves to ensure these deals are also less harmful to the environment. And some stakeholders within the pharmaceutical industry worried the operations may grind to a halt if immediate steps are not taken to address port charges. Details now. The Ghana city is expected to endure some volatility against the US dollar on the retail market this week. This follows a marginal depreciation against the American greenback last week. Here's a business desk report. The forex market was a bit choppy last week as the city saw some volatility against the US dollar. The local currency shifted 0.35% in value to the American greenback. It, however, strengthened 1.02 and 0.20% against the pound and euro, respectively, on the retail market. Demand pressures oscillated throughout the week amidst limited foreign exchange supply, with local corporates comprising the bulk of demand. The International Monetary Fund will begin their first review of the Extended Credit Facility Program from the end of September 2023 throughout October. The review will unlock the second tranche disbursement from the IMF to the tune of $600 million contingent on meeting the various performance targets under the program. Analysts believe a successful review will help bolster investor confidence and support the local units. That was a business desk report that takes us to the currency market. The city is going for 11 cities, 53 pesos against the US dollar on the forex or retail markets. It's selling at 14 cities, 60 pesos to the pound and trading at 12 cities, 45 pesos to the euro. Away from that, Ghana and other African countries are expected to benefit more from trade deals with developed economies and other multinationals. Now, this is because the World Trade Organization is taking steps to ensure that these deals are less harmful to the environment and benefit its citizens. Judge Yafi has more from the institution's biggest trade gathering in Geneva, Switzerland. Call it the biggest gathering when it comes to all the players in trade, finance and commerce around the world. And you might not be wrong. That the WTO Public Forum, the meeting is bringing together more than 3,000 participants, including some world leaders, ministers of trade, diplomats and civil society groups. Over the next four days, the World Trade Organization, together with some of these world leaders, will be leading discussions that would help close some deals that would help use trade to harness climate action while putting people at the heart of these agreements. Africa is said to be contributing less than 2% of these emissions, but end up suffering the most. Therefore, this meeting is trying to see how it can help countries like Ghana and other developing countries to get better agreements that could be described as environmentally friendly. George Riaffi with that report from Geneva, Switzerland. Former Finance Minister said Tekpe is urging government to work assiduously to improve the economy beyond the expectations of the International Monetary Fund. According to him, even though there is much focus on fulfilling the IMF conditionalities, government must ensure that the economy recovers fully and becomes stable post the IMF program. He spoke to join us. We achieved zero financing, right? When we could have done 5%, but we went beyond that, right? So you are comparing that to major challenges. You know, a financing of the deficit in excess of 30%, you know, almost, yeah, the entire deficit amount, monetization of the economy and the rest. So this is a context in which I said that, you know, even if what in the IMF program were achievable, we should look beyond, you know, to leave a good story after the three years of the IMF program, which will fall in the lap of another government. That was former finance minister Seth Tekbe. Economist Professor Peter Korte has stated that countries in the West African region working to meet the convergence criteria for the rollout of the single currency ECO will have to reform the institutions to achieve the target. The technical committee of the West African Monetary Zone is meeting in Accra to deliberate on the implementation of the ECO by 2027. Ghana has already pledged that it will work to get all the macroeconomic indicators required to use the currency. But reacting to the issue, Professor Korte said, Ghana must reform some key institutions to attain the target. 
Well, given the current state, unless things improve significantly, unless our institutions, what we call the soft uh, factors, if, if, if they have improved, if our institutions, the nature of our institutions improve, the financial institutions, the legislative institu uh, um, institutions improve significant, significantly, then we can say, yes, we can, that's why the fact that we have not met all the criteria, we can roll it out. Uh, but currently, as we stand, given uh, the weak macro conditions across the sub region, given the weak institutions, and I think we ought to reform the institutions and ensure strong macroeconomy before we roll this. Economist Professor Peter Corti. Now, some stakeholders within the pharmaceutical industry are worried that the operations may grind to a halt if immediate steps are not taken to address port charges. They also mentioned expensive loans from the banks. According to the Chief Executive Officer of Flock Pharma Company, Emmanuel Te Kenny, the importation of some pharmaceutical equipment can be made in Ghana. Hence, provision should be readily available to push for more local content within the industry. He spoke to joy business we are trying to create value and capture the value so how do we capture the value we are creating therein comes the the values we are bringing in the equipments the capturing of the value is how to clear the equipments i can give an example like last year where all the industry was really hit hard because all our things are in u.s dollars so if we are importing we we're importing last year in june around six point something and then you've given things on credit to all the hospitals so by the time they pay you and you're supposed to repatriate dollars at 11.5, we've actually lost. At the moment, uh, the banks are giving their uh, credit at 38% to 40%. Emmanuel Te Kenny is Chief Executive Officer of the Flock Pharma Company Limited. Civil society organizations are warning the country's national oil company, Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, and its partners to critically examine the risk of investing in upstream oil and gas projects in order not to lose out as talks for clean energy intensifies. The call follows the continued investments by companies into the country's oil fields in order to explore more oil and gas for the state. Speaking to Joy Business Senior Programs Officer at the Natural Resources Governance Institute, Dennis Jaya, explained that the country's transition plan must be targeted so as to gain from other natural resources. It's actually the time for us to start thinking. The point is that those that have already produced and have made a lot of money from producing fossil fuels have enough money to invest in diversifying. Those of us that are just starting to produce, the new producers, do not have enough money. And so you should rather be careful how you invest the little that you have already gained rather than continuing to invest blindly in upstream projects that may not break even. Remember that the automobile companies that you are citing, for instance, are, are setting targets around 2010. 2035, most of these uh, countries that these NOCs are operating in are looking to shift totally to electric vehicles. He had thoughts of senior programs officer at the Natural Resources Governance Institute, Dennis Jayer. On Investor Eye today, you must always be careful of social investment schemes. Make sure you ask questions and seek for more information from a regulator such as the Bank of Ghana or the Securities and Exchanges Commission to confirm that the investment company has been licensed before you put your monies in there. Emmanuel Mensa Pia is director in charge of Risk Management Department at SEC and he gives some education. Then there's the social consensus tactic. The social consensus tactic is where they give you the impression that everybody is doing it. So you should also do it. But you are not everybody. <laughs> and so your needs and how you structure your finances may not suit everybody. So you need to be careful of just joining a bandwagon, maybe of a certain group of professionals or you went, attended school with some people and they are all investing and they are promoting it at your school gatherings and so on and say and so because of that you join no mm -hmm. 
Emmanuel Menzo appears director in charge of risk management department at SEC. And before we go, on the commodities market, crude oil is still hovering around $90 a barrel this morning. Gold lost marginally to open trading at $1,920 an ounce. And cocoa, however, went up by $2 and is trading at $3,656 a ton. Thank you for listening. I am Amisi Nyamichet Thompson. Kojo, over to you. You see that your nice bro. Let's be.